What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode, in a rare move, um, I'm actually going to fight a naval battle. Um, we do have superiority, <laughs> but I think I, uh, I may as well do some of these battles because I, I should try and get better, better at them at least. So the hope will be that we can capture the entire fleet not just to bring them into our service, but also to um, bring this entire stack of troops into our cells. So let's attack. <clears throat> that will be the um, the objective. If some of them do flee, like the sixth ray is a bit of a risk, because if they rout, then I won't be able to chase after them. Um, so that, that does remain a risk. So let's get all our first rate ships of the line up front, including our Admiral. Third rates up, third rates in the rear, and I do get that there's a definite argument to be made around um, keeping my third rates. Well, you know, my third rates being in the rear, I am slowing them down. But my thinking is is that my first rates can get into the action, and then my First, my third rates can um, actually catch up fairly quick. So we're going to close the distance towards the Mughals. It's going to take a bit of time, but my ideal, my, the idea, the, the ideal thing to do is to break off west and follow the wind. But I'm hoping that's what the uh, well, I suspect the Mughals will immediately turn west, try and cut us off. Yeah, see, they're doing it as well. So there's going to be a bit of a delay as my ships make the, make the turn. This is usually the case when you get these sorts of fleet engagements. Is that when you you will start to notice that the formation and the overall cohesion starts to break down. So now Adria in pace is in position. Not quite sure what. I mean, must it must be your chasers that you are firing. So lots of their bigger ships are actually stuck. So this ship is going to have to load and fire as quickly as possible while these ships do try and make the turn in towards the enemy but I mean this is a first rate ship of the line so it's not exactly a slouch maybe this third rate ship of the line that's okay just keep firing Although I might. Something like this. Get everyone to make more direct a more direct route to where we want to be. Because I don't want my first rates to be too strung out. And I also want them to stay at full sail. That can be part of the problem about sailing them individually. You traps try reload, and I do want my ships to break into the formation to cut them up. We might miss out on the NASA NASA Fairhad, but it would be a good decision to make, I think, which we which we are doing. That all of our port gun batteries can get in a good position to take to do some damage on the ships that make it across our line. So I'm going to take this chap. Pivot them. Fire a good broadside into that ship. And sail on. Cut the formation in half. OK, 
Okay, we're not. We're, we're going to lose. We're not going to get this third rate, so we have to cut it in between these fleets. Let's make sure our left our port broadside is doing what we want it to do. Actually, stay round shotted. Pivot, please. So lots of these air elements still carry on their plan. So these ships are going to cause a couple of problems. As long as these guys are all making as fast time as possible. You're going to try and sail in because I want to try and cut off the second rate particularly so you guys can fire chain shot. So lots of our sh lots of these ships are breaking through. okay. Those aren't the ships we're worried about. Okay, you are the ship to do the make do the, to do the blocking roll. So reload your broadside ready. You need to pivot. Lots of these ships, like I said, they will get engaged by our other ships of the line getting into position. So I want them to pivot, but stay like that. Keep firing smaller broadsides to try and knock our knock these ships off kilter. Pivot you around a bit to knock out this ship a Rooney. Go sail at full sail. Keep pummeling this particular ship up front. Let's try to sail you around a bit. Hopefully we can knock out this 6th rate in fairly short order. Whoa, we need to be very careful with that button then. Let's get you out of the way. In fact, let's try to pivot you so you can try and fire through the gap. Side right anyway. Okay, you can she no don't. You guys need to get up here to make sure the okay, let's fire. You guys stay where you are, spill the wind from your sails. No, you can stay where you are. you guys out of range. These ships will all take care of those ones that are escaping their way down the line. So you're going to fire chain into the ship coming up behind. Fire the left port broadside before I do too much friendly fire damage with it. And 
main mast is gone. So these third rates are going to break away to chase down these guys here. Just keep pouring broadsides into them even though you're not ready. Let's assign some ships for these guys to attack so I haven't got to think, worry about optimising it too much. Fire chain, that should slow, slow this chap down. Pivot on the spot. There we go, the second rate surrendered. fire. Let's get these ships somewhere a bit safer. You keep reloading your broadside, you sail out. Okay, these guys are our new our new front line, so you guys all Drop anchor. Yeah, it's understandable that that ship was going to route. They were getting hammered. So let's pivot you guys back around. Try and get some chain shots off. So, you know, keep firing round shot, keep firing at range. The ship's on fire, so let's. Can you guys come back around? That ship's on fire. Okay, you need to start firing round shot. You guys need to fire chain because that's a lovely target. There we go. It's another mast down on that ship, although they are in a very dangerous position. I am going to blast these fellas with chain. Another mast down. That's a mast down there. Okay, let's allocate some new targets. Let's make sure the ships that are currently. Okay, you can fire now, but cease fire. Broadside into the second rate ship of the line. Keep reloading. So get this ship pivoted around. Yep, 
need to fire on both sides, both port and starboard gun crews. Sailing around. You men pivot to try and do a death blow onto that ship. Fire a uh, chain shot, try and knock out a mast or at least to slow her down. ships speed up focus on them so I don't have to you're routing I don't want there to be a gap for this chap to escape. Good, that ship's lost a valuable mast, so that slowed her down. Got a feeling that fourth rate is going to escape successfully. Let's pivot and make. Well, that wasn't broadsided already. Ideally, we try and take out our mast. You guys just keep hammering these ships with broadsides. Need to pursue the Hamid Ali with round shots. We have to start knocking out some of these ships properly this time. Because lots of our ships are actually just barely hanging on. If I can uh, chain shot to try to get over this wreck and try hit that second rate there. Surrendered. Good lads. You guys fire on them. Surrendered as well. Fire your broadside before it causes any trouble. You get behind this second rate. You just keep firing. It doesn't matter about how intact your ships are. Okay, you're actually in good neck to pivot and fire a surprise broadside against this second rate right? to try and knock out a mast. You were not successful, but that's okay. We've only got four guns, ten guns left on that ship there. So you guys can actually just... Actually, what's your broadside? Your left port broadside's fine. These three just get out of there. We've got one ship ahead of her. One ship behind her. Blast of chain shot to get over this ship and try and knock out the masts there. Let's try and knock out this. Well, not knock out. We're not going to knock him out one broadside. Let's fire slightly ahead. I 
You may as well keep trying to chase after that fourth rate, but you're not going to get him. Let's try to sail that ship ahead. Okay, you're going to fire one good... Did she just, like, completely... She was facing the other way, I'm sure. Got, this ship's got a mostly intact broadside. Stay there and reload. The ship is is taking damage. So I want to try and knock out this ship's sails so I can try and get a bit of a speed advantage. It doesn't look like it's been successful, so let's just try sail ahead of her. Oh, these guys have nearly got a full broadside up against... Okay, they fired, so let's just unload the broadside anyway. All of the ships here have been captured, so let's make them all foot sail at full speed. So your focus is the fourth rate, although I will take a cheeky chain shot broadside against this third rate. It's all about trying to slow down these ships. Actually firing at the ship, or are you just okay? There we go. The master's down, so all of you, including you, they're actually, yeah, you're gonna sail on and hit the fourth rate, you're gonna keep attacking the third rate. Second rate ship of a line can pivot and try and engage the third rate. Okay, chain shot it is. Let's knock some holes in your sails. So let's keep pivoting. Fourth rate has is routing, so if we can get some hits on her, she will surrender. All of you guys after the third rate, that max sail. Okay, I think I have to focus on this one. So I want to turn left. Good, the fourth rate surrendered, switch to round shot. Let's pivot to try and fire a broadside into this third rate. Keep you pivoting, keep you pivoting. No, don't. Ugh. Pivot short. Quick, 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 quick. Fire! I'll continue to attack there. Fire your broadside here into the Hamid Ali. Loading on the second rate, still everyone is. So the second rate can make full sail. Look 
considering none of these other ships are. This third rate ship of the line is likely going to be lost. Keep on sailing, my friends. Just fire your broadside anyway. Hurrah! Get you firing chain shot. Start to try and damage the third rate ship of the line's sails to slow her down. Get all of you guys. Take a third rate ship of the line at full sail. We're just going to clip the back end of her. So I'm going to switch to chain, so I can try and still do some damage through the sails and the wreck of the other ship. Third rate ship of the line surrendered! Hurrah! There we go. I believe that's everyone. Close victory. It was a bit dodgy. Lots of my ships took a lot of damage. But nevertheless, part of the skill is building up the fleet to fight. But there we go, the entire fleet has been captured. So let's click on them all. I want the seconds. I'll keep the thirds. But I don't want the fifths or the sixths. There we go. Some good prize money and that whole entire army that was there is now defunct. So now this army, navy, sorry, can sail on to Holguin, which has got a quite a good medium-sized fleet. Let's get you guys back into port and replenish. Let's get you guys to hold off of Antigua. These chaps can sail to... Well, there isn't... Don't, don't really have a huge amount of ports to pick. Let's get you into Kingston. Let's get your men repaired and squared away. And then let's recruit or get ready to start recruiting another large fleet. Because I want a, th a perfect target for ships like this. The trade theatres. So, how are we doing? Spices are the most valuable commodity, so let's send some ships over to India to infiltrate and try and figure out what's going on. This force here that destroyed the Mughal attack force is there. They've landed. These guys are waiting for the uh, Mughals to attack there. So we've got a large attack force here, which actually I might push forward to demand the surrender of Montreal, because it's unoccupied. So let's build a church school here in Quebec. Let's get Quebec recruiting another army. Because we've got a lot of Ottoman troops up here, as well as Mughal troops. Quebec is currently our best placed um, uh, best placed city to re to uh, produce troops. We'll see these chaps in Rupert's land replenishing. Let's build a church school. And we are going to attack the Huron at some point. So that's the Caribbean quite well sewed up. Then in Europe itself. You're marching down to southern Italy. We've got one army that's run around to the rear of Ankara, which I'm not overly bothered about making sure we catch. Not when the true goal, the true focus is going to be on squashing Ankara itself. So we've got a couple of armies here. They're going to auto-resolve 
against this small army here. You men replenish and get back to here. Pepino Volta can clean up. I mean, not without loss, but that's to be expected with these auto-resolve battles. Okay, then Istanbul... We're going to keep recruiting. Get some 24 pounders, get some 24 pounder howitzers. Good stuff. Obviously got lots of troops on their way down to the front. Let's build you up into a church school. Dagestan does hate us. But not a huge amount. So let's get our troops up to the front. As quickly as possible. So you can back up the men coming out of the center. Pietro continue to push down. The west. Angelo. So this is where the bulk of the British forces are. Just keep them moving. We don't. It's, it's not a massive rush to make sure we fill up this front line because we do have a lot of a lot of troops on the move and a lot of um, distance to cover. So you are nearly finished. May as well just let all these end turns complete. Although Guglielmo Zachariah. You can embark for the Americas. You're only on a light galley, so you are going to have to leapfrog it. Sail up to Bergen. Let's move this mercenary unit out. The next turn they'll be ready to push up. So we're still recruiting some good navies here, but I might split up these fourth rates. So let's just split them up. Because we do need to go clean out Iceland. So it's not entirely necessary to send all these troops. I mean, it might not be necessary at all. <laughs> Let's just send the first one up to Iceland to see how deep they are defended. Okay, they've got two armies there. So if I land... Let's declare war. So what have they got in this port? Okay, they have minor navies. Sell you back down to Portsmouth. Let's get this army recruited in Scotland. Get them aboard ship. And they can deploy right behind him. So in case they attack us, we've got a lot of support. But that'll be all it's probably all that will be needed to take the island. Let's get you guys to uh, Portsmouth. And this army can probably embark and go over to America. Start to really ship over some troops. So down here, your job is to take and hold the bridge. Your job is to push north to secure that gap. Your job is to push, well actually I suppose, Okay, that's why we do have another army. We have armies being recruited here. Okay, that's a good cavalry. You don't have a general. And a mano rota. Could probably do with another two guns and some interesting infantry, although it looks like beyond the desert warriors who aren't that great. I mean, I probably don't even need to recruit those infantry specifically, because we do have 
There we go. We do have some back here at Jerusalem. So these men are going to push up to this crossroads, or this crossing, and wait for re artillery recruitments. These guys are going to push out of the city. Get a general, Flavio Castiglione. Oh, the game does not like me using that recruitment tool. So let's get... I can only get one unit of Royal Cairo Infantry Guard. Let's get some Royal... Oh, African Infantry Guards, though. Yeah, that'll do. Let's recruit some infantry in Cairo, although that might be too much. We're nearer to home at Jerusalem. Recruit some artillery. As they're sat, as these got these ports are now behind their lines, I might just occupy them. These guys are marching to go free up Senop, and I'm more than happy to let them do that. So the squeeze is on. And once we once we break them and anchor it, it's gonna be quite a simple matter to knock out Yerevan and Baghdad, squash the Brits. Take them out one more turn till we get our next technology. We've got a lot of stuff that's going to move around in the end turn phase, including lots of spies. Yeah, we've got Persia to fight after this. But I'm hoping. Ooh! You knew it. No, let's. Maintain siege, let them come to us, because they're quite a dangerous set of peoples to attack. There we go, lots of recruitment stuff pushing on. There's a town to build there. Near, it's not in Moscow, but it's nearby, I think. Britain demands trade and 25 grand, I don't think so. Let's see if the Ottomans wander within range. My ships here will prevent them from crossing over the strait. Ooh. Yes, I think is the answer to that. So that will bring in this army down here. Let's do that. Because we need to slowly squeeze in so that as they move around and manoeuvre near the capital, we can pull them into battles and make them attack us, even if they don't want to. But I think the end is going to be nigh for the uh, the Ottoman Empire. They are not. Well, the end is definitely nigh. And then before long, we're going to be pushing into the um, the Indian subcontinent. So let's deploy a set of guns on this slightly higher ground here. Actually, they'll get a bit of protection from cavalry flank attacks. Let's give them some solid infantry support. One more unit will be enough to cover to this central feature that will mark the hinge of my line. Well, to a degree. I probably don't want to push up too much on the right. Let's keep these guns mobile in the event that some shenanigans go on. And then we've got two lights that can sit, well, that will sit on the, the right in a Swiss line to the rear. Dragoons on the left, household cavalry on the right, general in the centre. Let's deposit some howitzers to provide some good support. Okay, the, the enemy reinforcements are coming in from the left. So that means these guys on the right are probably not going to be massively needed. These Sipahi are dangerous. But so is that quick climb. Yeah, these guys 
shrapnels, you're way out of range of shrapnel shot for them. So you start to hit... Yeah, yeah as soon as you attack them with, with the artillery, they just charge. Shrapnel, ch charge them with shrapnel shot. I've got my elite infantry nearby. Especially if you run in column formation, that's perfect for shrapnel shot. I might want to get a howitzer to focus fire them as well, though. Lots of pew pew pew. Quick climb hits were good, so let's focus my shrapnel shot onto the Tartar to the rear. The Sipahi are coming in, they've come in. Charging the horse artillery. These guys can fire at will. New men deploy into square. They've dismounted, which is pretty perfect. You men folks fire the Tartar. So my rifles are doing some good damage at range. You men stay in square. Let's get my gunners. come all the way back there because they're not needed to cover the flank anymore. There we go. As they start to come in, so my other gun howitzer team, you guys need to focus on the infantry that's coming down the centre. It's Household Cavalry charge the Mamelukes. might actually make these guys push up and threaten the right flank of their troops. I suppose you should keep shrapnel shotting. So you guys are running in. Get this infantry out of here. So my household cavalry in this last infantry unit is going to take out, well, attempt to take out those Mamelukes. Their infantry is charging again. So let's push up infantry to engage them. With musketry. Well, not well. That's not go too mad because they do have pikemen still involved okay you shrapnel shot focus the Armenian archers these Tatar are going to get down because the pikemen failed to make their charge You may have to pour fire. It's critical we don't let them breach our line. The Royal Mamluk Guards are a danger. So these guns keep engaging the infantry that's coming our way. The 14th and the 2nd are holding the central position admirably against concerted charges the Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards no less these men fall into square let's get the warband into the house let's get my infantry to take position there my rifles can take position here and fire straight into the action Household Cavalry come over to the centre. I 
so my cavalry can try and assassinate their artillery. Just get involved, they're not shot cavalry. Guns are still trundling on. No, actually don't get involved. So that's the Mameluke Guards broken. Yeah, my cavalry getting engaged. But that's okay. Quick climbers start to engage the troops coming in. So we've taken the warehouse. You men charge the pikemen on the flank. Both of you units hit the Royal Janissary Infantry Guards. Push my general up to provide a bit more support. Very well. You men also get involved. Twenty-four pounders have been for well, the twenty-four pounder foot artillery have been destroyed. Go hit the the other howitzer unit. Armenian archers are pushing the flank. Let's charge our infantry down into the gap. Let's keep my infantry pushing to maintain the line while these guys deal with the, uh, the dreadful combat. The Feliin have been killed. My leftmost howitzer unit folks fire those Armenian archers. Regiment of Infantry we can march up into a supporting position, but their, their war is over. Let's reorganise the line. So my men keep blasting away. Okay, my Mountain Jaegers have run out of ammo. Congratulations, men that have no role. You might have a role now. These Nizam infantry are holding out. Oh, it's Nizam and it's a unit of, of uh, infantry. There we go. Let's get my infantry up. That square just got quick limed to buggery. Charge them with my infantry. Keep blasting them. So this cavalry is well placed to annihilate that unit. There we go. Keep forming the line. These warband need to get into position. Start to shrapnel shot the Muslim behind the lines. Now bear in mind those chaps back there. So yeah, the first unit of ours to rout has finally done so. Keep blasting them. These guys get on limber. This general is not so useful to us. 
go and kill that last infantryman at least. There we go. Great stuff. Let's continue the offensive. Okay, good. You guys are now free to get involved. Let's just make an infantry line that's going to have some gaps in it. Let's bring our household cavalry up into the mix. And our general. So my gunners up on the hill. Shrapnel shot your way towards these Armenian archers. Limbra how it's is up. There we go. These bashy bazooks shouldn't withstand such devastating artillery fire. It's trundle how it's is up. So my heavy cavalry can go after the howitzers, my light cavalry can go chase after those rifles. All of my infantry that's been battling very, very hard are now... They're now here. Come on, Swiss mountain jaegers. You're going to clear out their gun team. Armenian archers on the flank are a bit... They're a bit spooky, but not... Not a massive problem. Looks like they clearly want to... Uh, chase after my cavalry, rather than... Focus on the rifles. My heavy cavalry can charge the archers. Bashi bazooks are completely aware of what's going to happen. They're charging in. So my heavy cavalry is going to have a great time against those archers as long as they don't retreat backwards. As long as they don't run forwards and then come back. Let's get the cavalry out of there. Let my skirmishers do the work. New Semini aren't going to last for too long. Yeah, there we go. The Semini really only... The Semini do their best work when they're... Um, when they're uh, not being fired upon at all. If you get any sort of return fire, they're not happy. You're going to run down those Muslim. Everyone else has been killed. Artillery cease fire. Everybody. Well, everyone that's near where my cavalry might be cease fire. We're going to continue. Just to get a handful more kills. One thing we do have to deal with, which I'll we'll use these guys for, is just finish off that last gunner. Because the pathfinding can always be a bit funky there. Let's 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I can just escape and exit battle and not worry about killing him at all, but it's not something I normally do, so I'm a bit concerned about if it goes wrong. So these guys are just going to line up and should, theoretically, well, my mountain Jaegers are. There we go. I've got one last cavalry unit that's actually involved in combat. You'll try and knock out one poultry unit of Muslim. Let's see if these two units can knock out a unit of archers that's dangerously close to the edge of the map. Nah, they're gonna fail at the final hurdle. So let's go clear out this last unit of Muslim. Come on, with more cavalry or Pathfinding should pick up. There we go. Two guys left. So you're one of them. Oh no, there we go. It's the last guy now. <laughs> it wasn't a close victory. It was a bit dodgy at points, but I think it was a pretty good win. God, they lost nearly 5,000 men. Back you chaps go. They're starting to bundle up near the capital. Nope, you're going to try and get a flank, are you? You're more than welcome to try and get the flank. Or to conduct some sort of flanking attack, but it's not going to work. And this is the last turn you have, Ottomans, to steal my technology, because that university is about to get knocked down. It's the only way they can cross the river. Ooh. Okay, so we have to withstand a an attack here, but that should be okay. But looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the the first fight against the the Inuit peoples. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>